In the 1970s, a behavioral researcher by the name of John B. Calhoun set out to answer a very important and timely question. What happens to society if all of our appetites are cared for and all of our needs are met? In today's society of social assistance and instant gratification, this exact question has been weighing on my mind for quite some time. Where could we possibly go from here? After reading about John Calhoun's study called Universe 25, I got a little closer to that answer. And according to his findings, we're headed toward an awful lot of cannibalism, followed by an apocalypse. In the study, Calhoun took four breeding pairs of mice and placed them in a utopia. The environment was designed to eliminate problems that would lead to mortality in the world. The mice could access limitless food, nesting material was provided, and the universe was kept at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect mouse temperature. The mice were chosen for their health and extreme precautions were taken to keep any disease from entering the universe. When the experiment began, the mice did as you'd expect. They used the time that would usually be wasted foraging for food and shelter to have excessive amounts of sex. As a result, the population doubled every 55 days. And as the population grew, the mouse society began to hit problems. The mice split off into groups and those who found themselves incapable of finding a role within those groups became isolated. The isolated males withdrew physically and psychologically. They became very inactive and hung out in large pools in the center of the universe. They no longer initiated interaction with others and very territorial males ignored them altogether. They soon became characterized by the many wounds they acquired as a result of attacks from other withdrawn males. The female counterparts of these isolated males withdrew as well. Some spent their days preening themselves, shunning mating and never engaging in fighting. Due to this, they had excellent fur coats and were dubbed very eerily the beautiful ones. But the breakdown in behavior wasn't just limited to the outsiders. The alpha males became extremely aggressive, attacking others with no personal gain and often raping both males and females. These violent encounters sometimes even resulted in mouse-on-mouse -mouse cannibalism. Mothers would abandon their young or often just forget about them entirely, leaving them to fend for themselves. Females also adopted more aggressive behavior as males abandoned their traditional roles and no longer protected their nests. The aggression spilled over and mothers would often kill their own young. Infanticide in some territories of utopia reached a whopping 90%. In the phase Calhoun termed the second death, those who survived the attacks from their mothers and others would grow up around these unusual mouse behaviors. As a result, they never learned usual mouse behaviors and many showed little to no interest in mating preferring to eat and preen themselves alone. The population peaked at 2200, short of the 3000 capacity of the universe. And from there came the decline. Many of the mice were no longer interested in breeding and retired to the upper decks of the enclosure, while others formed violent gangs below. The low birth rate and high infant mortality combined with violence, and soon the entire colony was extinct. During the mouse apocalypse, Food remained ample and their every need completely met. So why did Utopia fail? Fuck if I know, but I'll take a wild guess. Because healthy societies are not built on comfort and accessibility. They're built on adversity and purpose. Just like the mice, instant gratification and a lack of adversity has caused us to detach from our instincts. And because of that, with each passing generation, our behaviors, become less and less human. When we're stripped of our sense of purpose and our ability to prove our worth, we become agitated, violent, and self-destructive. That and most creatures would rather devour their own offspring than spend six months in close proximity with members of their own species. Now, some of you might be wondering, is there a silver lining to all of this? Yes, there is, and it's this. Not all of Calhoun's mice went berserk. Those who managed to make space and control that space lived relatively normal lives. Just one more solid argument for us social outcasts to say fuck it to humanity and set up shop in the middle of the woods.